If you're testing a car part, you can simulate the effect of slamming the door using something called a shock test. Today, I'll be walking you through how to set up a shock test using the spider control system. All right, the first thing you'll want to do is go to test and then new test. Make sure you select classical shock since we're doing a shock test. You can name your shock test here and then click finish. Once you have that set up, you'll want to check a few things. First, make sure you're connected to your spider vibration controller. Next, you'll want to go to setup and then test configuration to set your shaker parameters. Now I happen to be using a Centec tabletop shaker, which I have saved from a previous run, so I'm just going to load that here from the library. Since this shaker can only accept a maximum drive voltage of 1.8 volts, I'll need to go to test parameters and update the drive limit accordingly. Next, you can go to test profile and configure your shock test. For instance, you can take the pulse type, which is half signed by default, and change that to something else, like terminal peak sawtooth. You can also modify the amplitude or the pulse width, etc. Then, you'll want to go review your run schedule. Right now, by default, we've scheduled 100 pulses in the test. Let's change that to something shorter for this demonstration, like 10, and click OK. Under miscellaneous, I can set how I want to save my data. I happen to want to save all the pulses for this demonstration, so I'm going to check this All Pulses box and click OK. After setting the test configuration, you'll want to check your input channels and make sure they match your physical setup. Here I have an IEPE accelerometer, which looks good. Next, let's look at measured signals and make sure we have what we expect. Now for displaying this test, I'm going to look at the accelerometer input coming from the shaker and also the drive signal I'm sending out to the shaker. Alright, we're good to go, so I'm just going to click Run, review this information, and press OK. Everything looks good, so I'm going to press proceed. And here we go. We have our shock test running in full swing. Notice that each shock pulse is being saved to the PC. Now I have this information generated in a report, and that's pretty much it. Thanks so much for watching this video and make sure you keep an eye out for the next ones to come.